In James, it says this, verse 2, 18. But some will say, You have faith, and I have works. Show me your faith apart from your works, and I by your works will show you my faith. Let's talk about faith and works. I believe strongly that every good work, no matter what work you're doing, begins first if we're doing outstanding work, inspired work, with faith that the two cannot be separated, they are one together. To have faith in one's abilities, in God's creativity, and that doesn't mean just God way, way, way far away, but God's creativity through you, it changes all your works. It creates works that are genius level. Imagination can take us in many, many different directions. The choice is how we use this great power, and the direction we go is ours. I'm asking you today to move your faith towards your creative powers of imagination, to turn your imagination not towards the worst, which is human mind, but towards God's mind, and recreating, co-creating with God the very best through us, the highest good. And we can do this when we are securely anchored in God. The power of God's imagination comes through you. It is closely linked with faith and works. All the wonderful discoveries that have been made and are blessing the people of the world today were first ideas that were conceived in the imagination of someone's mind. And who gave these inspired ideas? God. Faith and works unite, enabling ideas to take form and will be shared by others. Imagination can be a creative power in the human being. And there are no limits to the heights that it can take you when you're using it as a power to co-create with God's mind. Today, say this. Thank you, God, for my imagination and the faith to make my dreams come true. I pray that your dreams do come true. And I pray that your imagination is based, connected, at its source of divine power. That you're plugged in to God. That you have these ideas flow through you. That you have the creativity and the instant ideas, divine ideas, flowing in your human mind. It is so. In Jesus Christ's name, amen.